Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and a brand new experiment where we're going to take a look at what would happen if a Ladbrokes League 2 Scottish team, Edinburgh City in this case, were given a billion pounds. Now I'm hoping that they will very quickly rise up the leagues into the Scottish Premier League and establish dominance without too much trouble, but you never know how Football Manager is going to treat any individual experiment that we do. And we found when we did this in England that the team really did struggle to go and step on. But given this is the Scottish League and not many other clubs have much financial power, I imagine they will absolutely break through. Um, so you can see if we go to the club details for Edinburgh, they've got a decent reputation, but I mean, it's nothing special. It's the same as an English non-league team. Um, they've currently got a semi-professional status and they've got £900 million in their bank. A decent transfer budget, which I've given them, and wage budget, which will hopefully get them spending from the very first day. You can see they've drifted around an awful, awful lot. They were in the Scottish Lowland Leagues just a couple of years ago before finally getting promoted. They actually should have got promoted that season, but presumably did not have the facilities uh, to be able to play league football. But they've done it now, finished 7th last season, and we'll see how they manage to get on and how long it takes them to go forward. So do drop a like on the video if you enjoy experiments like these. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you've got suggestions for your own experiments as well that you'd like to see me take on. And make sure to subscribe for the next part of this as we go forward into the future um, and see how Edinburgh have get on got on but let's go forward now and see how they did five years into the future which in theory could see them in the Premier League. Well we are now five years into the future it's the year 2022 and as you can see they have progressed but maybe not as much as you could have expected five years into having a billion pounds. You can see when we left off last time they finished ninth in Ladbox, Ladbrokes League 2 um, after finishing 7th before the save started. They did manage to get promoted in first place in their second full season in the save, 7th in the next season, and then winning the league um, the following year. So they've now won two league titles. They finished 4th last time around, and it'll be interesting to see if they can get promoted into the Premiership after this season, because... That is not quite as strong growth as I would have expected, all things considered. You can see they have now gone professional, which is a step up from their semi-professional. They're still rich in their finances, but if we look at their transfer history in the first season, despite giving them that transfer budget, they actually didn't bring anybody in for any real money. Quite a few free transfers. Um, the following season, just 9.5k spent, which given they've got a billion pounds makes no sense. I don't know if financial fair play is a thing in the Scottish lower league, so maybe any Scottish football fans could let me know down in the comments. But the following season, they finally went out and spent 700k, which is a huge amount of money at this level. And the following season, they just spent 38k with nobody actually leaving the club. So they must have a huge squad on their books. Um, but some players coming from the Scottish top tier there. And then 150k spent last season, which is why they managed to finish in a reasonable position. Their biggest transfer was 100k for Aaron Presley. So they've they've spent a little bit of money, but they must still have a huge amount of finance. Their reputation has gone up by over a thousand in the five years, which is quite good. Their professional status has improved, but you see they've lost nearly 500 million pounds here, which is they've got 492 million left. They've lost 400 million. Without spending any money on transfers, it's got to be tax or something similar hitting the club's coffers because they've not upgraded their facilities as far as I can tell either. Um, if we look at their senior squad and the players that they've got in here, the value they're worth, um, not an awful lot of value. Some at 92k, Botty Bayer B, who is Scottish, surprisingly, with that name. Um, their most expensive player at 92k. Um, he was signed from Queen of the South and has not done that well for them, all things considered, in the Ladbrokes Championship. Aaron Presley there, the next big name that they've got, worth 36k, actually came through at Aston Villa, moved to Wigan, and then went to Edinburgh City for 100k. So you see they've got some players in there that are worth a bit of money, but not much really going on in the team. Um, I do want to have a quick look at the history of the Ladbrokes Championship transfers. And you can see that some money is being spent here, but are their players leaving from Aberdeen and Hamilton, um, but not an awful lot being spent that season. The previous season, very few teams spending that much money. 
And if anything, a lot of them going out. So you can see Edinburgh City there spent quite a bit of money, but the only team there to actually do so. So they are spending more than any other side, um, and that should ring true for quite some time. So I'm hoping that they actually go out and spend some money next time that we take a look at this, because it's been a little bit disappointing. You would have expected them to get automatic promotion time after time after time, and that's just not been the case. What I'm going to do, though, is go forward another five years now, because I feel like this has been quite underwhelming, and hopefully they will at least be in the, the top tier, if not challenging for the title at that point. But it all depends on whether they're going to accelerate their spending or not. Well, that is highly disappointing. We're now another five years into the future, and you can see that after finishing fourth, they got relegated in ninth place, finished second, then seventh, before getting promoted in third place, presumably through the playoffs. They've got Paul Dickov in charge now, but they have not progressed at all. They've only just got back into the championship. A huge step backwards for the team. And if we look at their transfer history going back through the seasons, you can see they're still not spending the money. They had one season where they spent 550k, most of that on Chris McCann, uh, who still plays there, but he's a right back. He's not the player that's going to deliver you the change. And you can see there, he's not really done that well for them anyway, not getting a seven point above rating, which is a standard kind of sign of a player performing well. So, I mean, this is hugely, hugely disappointing. As we said, the value of their club has dropped from where we left off last time. Um, again, this is really, really poor. There's no other way to sort of say it. I don't understand why this is happening when the club has as much money as they've got. They've only lost about 30 million in the last five years. They're not spending the money despite this huge transfer budget. The board has given him £174 million, pounds, the manager, and a half a million pound a week wage budget, and he is not spending it, and I don't understand why. Maybe one of you guys can let me know why down in the comments. I'm going to have a quick look at their senior team schedule and see if they've managed to achieve anything in the league comp or in the cup competitions in Scotland, which, um, as far as I'm aware, are a little bit easier to compete in. So if we take all of the leagues out and then start to look from here, you can see Betfred Cup not doing too well. Got to the third round of the Scottish Cup before losing to Wraith. Uh, the following season, Betfred Cup not doing well. Iron Brew Cup managed to make it through to the quarter-finals, but lost to put Partick Thistle under-20s. Um, and also in the Scottish Cup, got knocked out by Dumbarton. The following year, again, really struggling there in the group stage of the Betfred Cup. And out in the fourth round of the Scottish Cup this time. Following season, they, they actually did pretty well. Doing well in the Betfred Cup, the Iron Brew Cup as well. Um, through in the quarterfinals of the Iron Brew Cup, but out in the second round of the Betfred to Celtic. Only a 2-1 defeat, though. Not bad, uh, really. I assume they rested a lot of players. But they got through in the quarterfinal of the uh, Iron Brew Cup, uh, through in the fifth round, being to Firmland along the way as well, uh, but lost to Queen of the South at the semi-finals and lost to Dundee at the quarterfinals of the Scottish Cup as well. But that's a good run through the leagues. Again, a decent run here through in the quarterfinals of the Iron Brew Cup and the semi-final of the Iron Brew Cup. They beat Hibernian under-20s but lost to Livingston in the final there out in the third round of the Scottish Cup. Uh, the following season, again, court final went out on penalty of the Iron Brew Cup and on penalties against Inverness, Caledonian Thistle in at the fifth round replay. Following year, no real cup progression there. Uh, we're getting close to the current date as well. If anything, they've regressed quite hard here, which is to be expected given that they got relegated and have had to climb back up, beaten by Celtic 3-1 in the Betfred Cup quarterfinal. But I mean, they've had a, that one season of Cup success, but really they have struggled consistently. And this is so disappointing, that sharp decline. I don't understand why that has happened, given the money they've got and why they aren't spending the money which the board has allocated them. That's nothing to do with the chairman or the owner because they are giving them the transfer budget. It is all to do with the manager and possibly some sort of financial fair play, which... I mean, I'd be surprised if it was that impactful. And even then, they should really um, be getting past that. I can't see anything here on financial fair play, work permit rules, Brexit rules. But 
Yeah, maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think about this. You should also drop a like on the video if you're finding this as interesting as I am. I mean, it's frustrating because they should already be winning the Scottish Premiership after 10 years with a billion pounds, but that is not the case. So let me know if you know why that is happening down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for the next part of this where I'll probably go another 10, maybe 15 years into the future in the next part in a couple of days' time. Um, but until next time, see ya.